we're wrapping up Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, but there's still a lot of misinformation circulating about the disease. Dr. Philippa Cheatham joins us with more to dispel some of those myths and give us the facts as well. Absolutely. Yeah, so what are the facts about prostate cancer as we know it right now? So one in six guys in the United States of America is getting diagnosed with prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. We're seeing more and more men, younger men with prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. And the two people who are at increased risk are anyone with a family history, brother or father increases your risk mm -hmm. and if you're an African-American man. Yeah, 60% more likely than Caucasian men. That's right, that's okay. right. All right. Uh, what are some of the myths that you hear a lot about? Well, the prostate blood test, the PSA screening, causes a lot of anxiety mm -hmm. because it's specific to the prostate but not necessarily to prostate cancer. So it causes a lot of anxiety and the treatment options for prostate cancer are numerous and mm -hmm. men are often overwhelmed. But one of the biggest myths is what you can actually do to protect yourself against prostate cancer. And everything on the table here is prostate cancer protective. Yeah, these are great suggestions. Let's run them down for people who don't know how much diet can really impact your um, risk for getting the disease. That's right. And one of the first things I tell my patients before we even talk about this is eliminate red meat from the diet. Mm -hmm. Red meat can actually drive prostate cancer cell growth. All these foods are prostate cancer protective. We know that if you get flax into your diet, whether it's through the meal, through flax milk, or through the oils, that's very good to protect against prostate cancer. It's mm -hmm. not coincidence that in Japan they have an extremely low risk of prostate cancer. They drink a lot of green tea. They do not eat as much red meat as we do in the United States. Mm -hmm. Their diet is very fish-based. We know that the green leafy vegetables, the crucifers, the kale, the sprouts, the broccoli, all these are rich in isoflurones, prostate cancer protective. Mm -hmm. Men know about tomatoes, rich in lycopene. I often hear people telling me that. What they don't know is that Pinot Noir is extremely rich in resveratrol, which is an antioxidant, can protect against prostate cancer. That's, I didn't know that. Is that, what's the recommended um, glass of wine or two? <laughs> what well, we don't want to turn everybody into alcoholics, right. obviously, but two or three glasses a week of Pinot okay. Noir. For those that don't drink, you can actually buy resveratrol capsules, which is the active ingredient. Okay. One of the great things that you can do to really reduce your risk of prostate cancer and improve your general health mm -hmm. is to boost your own immune system. Two things that you can do, get your vitamin D level measured. Vitamin mm -hmm. D deficiency is associated with prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. We also know that if you take a medicinal mushroom ingredient called AHCC, all the cells in your blood system that are circulating, looking for inflamed cells, infected cells, cancerous cells, if you boost your own immune system, you can reduce your risk of developing not only prostate cancer, but there is some evidence that this can actually reduce the risk of breast cancer mm -hmm. in women. We also know that pomegranate and the purple fruits, the berries, the blueberries, the black currants, these are also very rich in resveratrol, so pomegranate extract can reduce your risk of prostate cancer as well. You know, we're hearing a lot about probiotics as well. How effective are those, not only for women, but for men when it comes to prostate cancer? Well, probiotics do not really come into this so much. I mm -hmm. mean, probiotics will restore the good bacteria. So for many patients who have a lot of antibiotics, women mm -hmm. who have recurrent urinary tract infections, mm -hmm. a probiotic will be good for that. A probiotic is good for your general health. Okay. But for prostate cancer, we really focus to that. what's on the table. Okay. Anything else that you wanted to um, mention in terms of myths that people really need to keep in mind? I think the key issue really is do not wait for symptoms. Mm -hmm. Most patients that we diagnose with prostate cancer in 2011 have absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. So mm -hmm. don't wait for symptoms. And also if you have symptoms, it does not necessarily mean you have prostate cancer. So talk to your doctor, see a urologist, and get the screening blood test. Dr. Philip Cheatham, thank you so much. Great thank you.